lot of memories in the area for a lot of us. The city marks the end of an era. Tomorrow morning, Pell City will demolish the old Avondale Mill smokestack. And WIT 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff is in Pell City tonight where people are saying goodbye to a century old landmark. The smokestack back here belonged to Avondale Mills. It was a textile manufacturer that employed a lot of people in and around Pell City. In fact, the smokestack is so tightly woven into the fabric of Pell City that it's part of the city's seal. Now, since Avondale Mills closed in 2006, the mayor of Pell City says the stack is crumbling and too expensive to maintain. It's hard to find someone in Pell City who doesn't have some sort of connection to the smokestack. My aunt worked there for almost 30 years. I sit out my bedroom window every day. Last year, like 50 kids did a project on it for history. It's been a lot of people that, you know, maintain their home, sent the kids to school, and that was the main car here in Pell City for so long. For many, watching it implode Tuesday morning won't be easy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to miss it. It's part of history. You will never see another smokestack like that again, ever. It'll be a spectacle. Mayor Joe Funderburg calls bittersweet. Hey, it was just not feasible for us to try to put city funds and money into keeping something that uh, would, would really cost uh, quite a bit. I wish we could keep it. I really, truly do. Funderburg hopes to turn the site into a green space and build a commemorative walkway out of the old bricks. I think that would be a lasting tribute to to a great many, many folks in this area. Demolition is set for 9 a.m. The city says it's going to start closing roads in the immediate area around 8.45 a.m. There are going to be spaces set up for the public to sit and watch the implosion. But if you can't make it, we're going to be streaming all of it for you on our website, WIAT.com. In Pell City, Jamie Ostroff, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.